Make sure if you have another device, if you can log into Canvas right now, because we'll use it later on in the morning. We have to go back and um, uh, answer our math questions after this morning. So good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Wake up. Wait a few minutes and then we'll start with our pledge. Everybody get here. Everyone's kind of late. Huh? Everyone's pretty much late. It's already eight. Yeah. We'll give them a little bit. Sometimes it takes. Problems getting in, but hi, hi. You're in there. There's Adrian. There's somebody new in here. I don't know where he went. Oh no, Nicholas, I think. I'm missing AJ. Who else? Um, Archie's here. AJ. Oh, Ray. We're missing Ray. Ray. AJ. <clears throat> Let me see. There's Chloe. Oh, Chloe with the K. I don't see Chloe with the K here. I see Chloe with the C. On time. Oh, there's Ray Ray. He's upside down. I think there's a new Yeah, there's somebody that we haven't seen yet, Nicholas. We're going to actually get here because we're going to go over our roles again because yesterday was a little, a little crazy yesterday. I'm going to review all of the expectations. Don't show the time to drink. 
Okay. Our flags. Everybody can just mute their mics and then we'll. What is she saying? We'll pay attention. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Hey, good morning, friends. Charlie here. We're going to start the day by saying the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, so the first thing we do is everybody stand up. Go ahead and quietly stand up. Good. And then when you're standing up, uh, what, what do we do? That's right. Now we're going to pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, great job. You did it. Cool, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. You want a half screen or full screen? Crazy, crazy hairs. What? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and in the flag. Please wait for a moment of silence. Well, I'm here. What was here? So, Steve. AJ, I'm guessing he's going to pop in probably in the next five, ten minutes. So, like I was saying earlier, I want to review our roles again, because yesterday some of y'all were not focused very well throughout the course of the day. Some of y'all have not been in your videos all the time, and it's important that you keep your um, as often as possible, because um, I want to make sure you're doing your work, or if you look a little confused, sometimes y'all look confused, and I, you know, I want to look confused or if you're doing your work because if you're not doing your work then it's not going to help you when you get back to school and i did tell y'all if there's you know craziness going on behind you or something your siblings are just running around crazy send me a message and let me know i'm turning my video off because my siblings or my parents are in the back talking or something like that but for the most part y'all been doing okay again because we do have somebody new here nicholas y'all want to say wave hi to nicholas so i can wave hi to nicholas real fast Hi, Nicholas. I'm Miss Hernandez. We're going to review our roles anyways because today I think we need a refresher. So let's see. And then we'll see if anybody else pops in. So for the most part, we've been starting our Zoom meetings at 8 o'clock unless something happens on my end or your end. Everybody's been getting here at 8 o'clock. But we do start our day by 8.15. So if for some reason you have problems getting out of bed, you're just too tired or, you know, you're Zoom connection's not working or something. As long as you can get here, try to get here by 8.15. You're not going to miss a lot between those 15 minutes. But we're not going to watch all of this slide. We're just going to go over our rules again. Y'all did pretty good with the rules so far. Y'all have been doing pretty good about asking questions. If you have a question, raise your hand or put it in the chat. You know, keep your camera on for the most part, unless something's going on in the back. I want to see y'all and I want to make sure doing um, your work and following the rules and y'all aren't just, I guess, misbehaving or I don't know, y'all have clothes on. Sometimes y'all don't want to put a shirt on during your Zoom meeting, boys, but you gotta, we got to make it like we're in school because we are, you know, hopefully I can have mo most of y'all back in class. We got to make it like we're in class, even though we're at home. So we still got to follow the rules because normally when y'all come to school, y'all would have some clothes on and probably, at least I hope you do. And if you don't, we're going to have some problems. Um, try to find a quiet place as often as possible. I know sometimes the only quiet place or the quietest place you might have in your house is the living room. And you might have your siblings running around, but 
Um, that's okay. No eating. I haven't really seen anybody eating during the Zoom, at least not yet. Y'all have plenty of, oh, y'all have plenty of breaks. Oh, no. Y'all have plenty of breaks. No. And, go back and, and eat. Um, be respectful. Y'all have been pretty good about that. Um, what is it? Try your best. Stay focused and let's enjoy our Zooms as much as possible. I think most of y'all have enjoyed your Zooms. They haven't been super bad yet because we haven't gotten into a lot of busy work, but I'm sure y'all will start probably hating Zoom next week when we really start getting into reading and math even more. I mean, there was one more thing. Oh, I had said you could have like water or a soda by you if you want to. That's fine. Just make sure you don't spill it all over your computer or your books. And what was um, in the morning, try to have all your books. This morning, you need your math binder, that um, be beginning of the year assessment, and if you weren't able to get on Canvas this morning. So if you don't have your math binder or that test, go get it right now so that we can begin here in a little bit. And make sure you have a pencil. We're ready to go. Oh, why does it keep doing that? What is the thing I was going to say? So, y'all been doing pretty good. About all of that and rules, just follow directions quickly. And I know sometimes I have to repeat and repeat and repeat myself. Um, just try not to do that as much because some of you are getting, I think, annoyed with me repeating myself. And I'm sure some of your parents are probably getting annoyed of hearing my voice saying the same thing. So when I ask you to log into Canvas so that you have it ready, I want you to log in if you have a device next to you so that you're ready to go. When I say get, open up Canvas and open up your reading tile. Raise your hand. We just went over that. Y'all yeah, been doing pretty good. Um, raise your hand to leave the restroom. The same thing. If you have to go to the restroom, just you know, let me know. I think Chloe's been showing her fingers, like the restroom, or put it in the chat, or raise your hand, and I'll let you go. Uh, make smart choices. And if you do all of this, you'll probably keep me happy for the most part. Oh, in the chat. We're not having side conversations in the chat. When we use that chat like that, it's just like being in class, and you're talking to your friend in the back in the classroom, and y'all are whispering. It's like the the same thing. Any questions about any of that? Um, Miss Hernandez. Yes. Um, I, my brother, we got um two more viral things. So I just moved like the first one, the new one. I just moved it to this one, and then my other one, I just moved like that stuff to this one the math oh the math okay that can be your math journal so you can label that one during the break later on when you have time you can label it math and you can go for math notes okay so everybody has their math um, in the year assessment because we're going to start that because it's going to take us a while we're going to try to get through some more math today so, okay okay Adrian, make sure you have um, your canvas open because we're going to put it on canvas. You're muted. Okay. Ray Ray, are you feeling better? I know your mom said you're, you weren't feeling good yesterday. Do I go to math? Yes, I'm going to math. Okay. Yeah. Let me share my screen. Hopefully, Avery does not come in here and give it. Do I take the quiz? Um, you can open it up. We're going to start it in a second. I'm kind of going to help you all a little bit. Like, please. Please. Share my screen so that we can. There you go. Sorry, it looks so weird, but it's where we were yesterday, so it kind of like. You gotta write on that, don't you? That's from the pen, isn't it? Yeah, I like let through. I was using a sharpie. It wasn't the smartest thing to be doing. <laughs> Instead of using <Wow. laughs> a pen, but yeah. So. Um, Nicholas, you haven't been here, but we are working on a beginning of the year test. If you have your books, it should be in the front of your math binder and it should say at the top beginning of the year assessment. And we're working on it a few questions a day, like six, seven questions a day. If you want to catch up with us, we're on 15, I believe. 
you tell them a message. On Canvas, too, if you have access to mm -hmm. Everybody has it. Thumbs up if you have it. If not, let me know because I'm going to start. Thumbs up. Yep, or clapping of the hands. Number, or number 15, Dylan's grade level went to Gladys Porter Zoo on a field trip. Six teachers went on the field trip and each teacher had a group of eight students. Which is one method Dylan cannot use to find the total number of students on the field trip? Cannot. Cannot to use. Which is one method not. Dylan cannot use to find the total number of children on each test or on each each group. So six teachers and each group had six. So what are the ways that you could figure out the total number of kids? What can you do? What is one way? Oh, Natalie, make sure you unmute yourself. Remember, or, yeah, Natalie, go ahead. Um, you could use groups. You could use groups like how? Like, um. Using groups? Yeah. So is that, that one's right, isn't it? So I would put a check by it. What's another way that you could find the total? Like you could multiply, when it's asking you could multiply, you could count individually, how else? What's another way? If you're not very good at multiplying, what else can you do? You could repeat what? Or repeat it, it's called repeated what? Repeated addition. Repeated addition. So is that answer there? Yes. What is it? Which one is it? It's C. Okay, then that one's correct. And what if you count out each individual? Um, Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, that's A, I think. You think A is the answer? No, I didn't say A. No. I said that's eight. Smiley faces. Oh, is it eight? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's eight. eight. I need to check if there's six teachers, though, because that looks more than six teachers, though. Okay. One, two, three, four. So what's. I guess if you wanted to six. know, eight times six. Eight times six? Oh, this is kind of like what we did yesterday with our factors. Remember, we have a factor, yeah. and a factor this way. Will that give us that? Is that the same thing as this? The eight. So remember, when you have two factors, you do what? You multiply, right? Those two factors? Mm-hmm. So is that, this right here is be the same thing as this. 48. In this case, it's right? So is that one correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say it. <laughs> I was just like waiting for anybody to say it. I was like, okay. Hopefully within the next few weeks, we don't have to do repeated addition to find our answer or multiply. Yeah, but... Sometimes I can't count by oh. my eight, so I just count by my six. Depends what I do. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six, forty-five, thirty-four. No. Work. Um, and I don't think A is right. So then no. Uh, it's probably not. It's Right, we would multiply eight. It's way too much numbers. That would be way too big. No, we would not. Yeah. 
Is it okay? Okay, so I'm gonna put eight just one time. What's eight times eight? Eight times eight. That's already like close to fifty, I guess. I think. So we only have one left, right? So what, what's our answer? Pretty hey. easy. Yeah. I was really guessing it at the first. We're not really guessing it because. Yeah. Um, let's read the next one. Grant and his two brothers built. I'm gonna read it real fast and then I'm gonna reply to his parent. Okay, Grant and his two brothers. Uh, built rabbit cages for the livestock show. They used a total of 54 nails to build the cages. Each brother used the same number of nails. What is the number of nails each boy used? So what is the number of nails each boy used? Did y'all use in... Um, I got the answer. Third grade, did y'all use... I don't think y'all do. What is that? Oh my goodness, I forgot what it's called. Number two. What? RJ, I forgot what it's called. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot what that strategy is called. Gets. Mm -hmm. Sorry, gets. Did y'all use gets? Get, yes. Sorry. I got the answer for question two. Multiple would divide, divide, and then multiply. So if you're missing the G, you would know you divide, right? If you're missing yes. the G, you, know you would divide. If you have the total, or if you're missing the total, you know you'd multiply. So let's use get. Yeah. What is our total here? Ooh, we're gonna have to actually work this out and do. Our total? Yeah. That's pretty easy. Total is 54. In my mind. How many groups do we have? Or, yeah, how many groups? Because we're looking for each. We know each is going to be missing. So how many groups do we have? How many um, Tell us. Three. Brothers? Oh, yeah. <gasps> I would have got it wrong. Because, because oh. um, we're talking about Grant and his two brothers. Yes. Did y'all hear that? I would, I would have done what y'all would have done because I wasn't paying attention. Thank you, Natalie. Grant and his two brothers. So it's not just his two brothers. It's Grant and his two brothers, and it's three. Thank you, Natalie. Adrian, if you already got your answer, you better look at that. Whoa. I am so close to not getting that right. I, I, like, I knew it said brother, but I didn't see the number two. You have three groups, and you're going to have to divide what into those three groups? Your total. So 52 is going to go into this. You're going to have to share. Remember, you're going to go one, two, three, until you get 50, until you finish counting to 52 in each group. Oof. I don't think y'all were. You mean 54? Oh, sorry. Sorry. I mean. Oops. My bad. I don't want to go 52. My bad. 54. That's my I'm going to go to question three. Go ahead if you already got your answer. No, I'm going to the other. I think I got my answer just by multiplication. Oh, oh, so you multiplied each answer choice? Yes. So Natalie did it another way. Yes, you can also multiply each one of these answer choices by what? By How many three. Have? By groups, I think? Three. Yeah, by three. So yeah. Three. yeah. Three. That's another way you could do it. Yes, there's a lot of ways. See, my brain automatically went to like dividing it. 
hard because when I divide it like that, I um I kind of get mixed up between the lines because let's say one line is um like let's say my pencil broke and I do try to finish that line, it looks like two lines, and my lines just get very mixed up, so I can't do it that way. Yeah. So, there's a lot of ways to solve that. I'll give you a few, like another minute or so to work on that. Did y'all multiply like 100, did y'all multiply like 108 times 3 yet in third grade? Or Yeah, I'll, no. I was like kind of used to multiplying some hundreds. By one digit reliable to do that? Did y'all make it there in third grade? I don't remember. I think y'all did, right? No. No? I, in my class, no. My no. class kind of did some hundreds. Because I know we start doing, we, we do that in fourth grade, and then we do two by two, so like 12 times 12. But I know, I don't know if y'all got there. I think y'all got to three digit last year, three by one. But that's I was able to make it. Yep. Or it was somewhere, so I mean, I don't know. Yep. I need only like one four digit. Multiplication answer. Okay. 17, are we good or I need to go back and explain something? Let me know. Remember when um, some of y'all were worried about yesterday getting that one problem wrong, this isn't gonna be a grade that's gonna go in the grade book. It's more for me to see where you're at, what we need to you know go back and review because of the school ending abruptly last year or what is something maybe everybody struggles with and it's just me not teaching it the right way or I need to figure out another way to teach it. So if you get some of these wrong, it's okay. We're not gonna, it's not gonna go in the grade book. It's for me to see where I'm really good at so that I don't spend time, you know, going over something if everybody's really good at it, we could be doing something else. So it's okay if you are struggling with some of these problems. Okay. That's kind of why I'm helping you out and starting them. <laughs> kind of working you through. So 17, a florist received an order of six boxes of roses. There were 14 roses in each box. She wants to arrange flower, um, she wants to make flower arrangements using seven roses for each arrangement. How many rows, or how many flower arrangements will she make? Oh, this is one of those problem solving ones. So she has, we got out of the way. She wants to know how many flower arrangements she will make. Multi-step problem. So first we need to figure out how many total what she has. We haven't gotten here yet. This is kind of what we were working on on problem solving. We need to find the total number. How do we figure out the number, the total number of roses she has? Come on, wait, you wait. can add. Mm -hmm. ah. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, ah. Get. I'm, I'm failing y'all right now that I'm not doing this. How many groups do we have? <sighs> How many groups of roses do we have, or boxes, or packages do we have? Six. Six. Thank you to whoever answered. How many is in each? Package or box? I think y'all are working, that's why. 14. So now you gotta find the total. And you would 14 goes first and then the six goes at the bottom. Go from there. But you're not done yet when you get there. Or you can, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. So, okay, I'm back.
But once you get your total here, there's another step. So then you would either have to divide it like we were doing earlier. So let's say 84. Multi-step. Multi-step. You'll see a lot of these in. Because we used to do multi-step like inside our test. And yeah. Stuff, but like we weren't like really like getting into it. Yeah, you do. You'll see a lot of these in fourth grade. So then you would have to divide into your circles, or like Natalie said earlier, how many groups do you have? You can multiply each one of these times seven, and see if you get. That's how I normally do it. <laughs> get this answer right here. Whew. There's a lot of ways, or you can. Well, we we haven't gotten into division yet, but you would do whatever the answer is. Eighty-four divided by like seven. We haven't talked. So, I don't think B is going to be right because it's big, right? a huge number. Yep, I agree. And we can also eliminate D because it's going to be there for sure. Yeah, it's usually, that's one thing I will tell you. And when we start talking about um, revising and editing, that's going to be one answer choice you can almost, I can tell you 99.9% .9 of the time, get rid of because they want you to find a mistake in the sentence. Same thing with math, they want to test you. So now we're left with, with two and yeah. they're both small numbers, so. We'll do some more of these today in problem solving. Hopefully we can get to problem solving and some more of our math. So. I'm, not, I'm very, I'm in a very confused situation. This morning. Please. I'm not too sure if it's A or C. So did you multiply each one of these times seven? So you can't you can't do that and know if your answer is right if you haven't done this step first because it whatever you get from multiplying twelve times seven has to equal whatever you got here. Okay. Step, like um, Natalie said, they're multi. -step. And there's a lot of those in fourth grade, and I can tell you they are all over your star test too. Yes. Yeah. What time did they start? I thought it was at eight fifty. At eight, at eight o'clock. Who's for real? Yeah, we start and then I, I give them about sorry. minutes. That's okay. We give them about fifteen minutes to kind of figure out any problems they have. But it's eight fifteen at the latest if they're going to be running late. But usually it's eight o'clock. So go over, the, go over any announcements or anything I need to tell them. And we'll start around. Here. Why is everybody glitching so bad? I don't know why everybody's glitching so bad. <laughs> Which was my answer? I think it was Sierra. Sierra, that was you, right? If you can get your beginning of the year math test like I have on my screen, and we'll catch you up in a little bit. Not the answer. Okay. So did I. Oh. Thumbs up when you're ready to go. I want to give you all plenty of time. Answer. Jacob, you have the answer? Working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. I'm going to move on and then you're going to get on and be upset because I moved on. But.
Fabulous here. Let me see. I saw her. Not here. Oh, yeah. Somebody's screen is black. I don't know who that is. I saw Chloe earlier. Audrina's here. Ray Ray was here. Yep. Um, RJ's here. I saw him. Oops, he's still here. Zildjian. I skipped her here. Mariah, Adrian, Mariah. Nicholas, that might be him with the black screen. Let me see him. 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 Let If you want to, you can look at number 18 and I'll read it in a second. Okay. Keywords each. When you see the word, you know they're going to start each. Think of get. Think of get. Um. I finished with number 17. Perfect. Okay. Um, 18. It says, Coach Flores has 63 tennis balls in his equipment storage room. He will play um, these tennis balls in seven crates. He wants each crate to hold the same number of tennis balls. How many um, tennis balls will each crate hold? So when you see that word each, think of get. Think of get. So you're either going to divide or multiply. And let's see. So, you're going to do total number of um, tennis balls he has is how many? Okay, so, um, his, uh, his total is 63. Yes. They're all dividing. This one is not right. What? Because it equals seven. And crates are the um, the groups, mm -hmm. so we're gonna have to divide. Yep. So sixty-three divided by seven. That's just minus two again. Well, sixty-three divided by seven. So how much is that gonna be? Six. It's right, saying that sixty-three divided by seven is six. I don't know. Seven divided by sixty-three. Okay, that is not right. Why not? Division is taking a. You can always multiply these two right here and see if you get sixty-three. Remember the inverse, and if it gives you sixty-three, then that would be your answer. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit. What times? What times? I need a multiplication chart, so let me go get mine. Let's see. I need my journal so I can make my journal. I can do the revision. I found the page. I 
Turn on this. this oh uh can you put up a multiplication chart or yeah Everybody can see it, Natalie, you see it? Okay. So. Yes. Um, remember, uh, we're not always going to have access to a movie, so we're going to get real good at our factors and we're going to move on. You can probably double check your answer if you already have one. difficult but I got it okay are you ready to move on yes another, another problem solving sorry Nick Rios has a total of I'll well, mute it, everybody, just so we can hear. So, Ms. Rios has a total of 28, 28 students in four groups. He has the same number of students in each group. 
which equation can be used to find the number of each of students in each group? So similar to what we did, we're looking for each. So we need to set up get again. Kind of help us. So do we have our total? So what is our total amount of students we have? So we know we're going to be what again? Dividing. Right? Okay. And it says we have four groups. So I'll help you all out. Might be a little bit easier than that. Oh, we found on nineteen. Is that what is that one? Nineteen. We're still on nineteen. We're giving everybody a little bit of time. Remember total. Thumbs up when you're done, so I know. Move on. Chloe, <laughs> question? Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Really quick. Can you what? The paper? This, my paper? Yeah. So 20, what number goes what in the box to make the equation true? Which one of these numbers goes in that box? You multiply those two numbers, you'll get your hints.
kind of stuck on 20. What did I tell you to do? Um, Natalie, what did I tell you to do? Um, you said to add, I mean, uh, multiply <laughs> the 7 and 8. Okay. I got my answer. Good. Okay. So did I. Go into it again, I'm sorry. My internet had cut off. Let me figure it out. 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 Let RJ, we're on question 20 in our beginning of the year test. Go get it. Okay. Wait, what? We're on question 20 on our beginning of the year test. It looks just like this. The one we've been working on all week long. Twenty one. Question twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. This one's easy. Oh, let's see. Okay. So it says a figure is divided into seven sections as shown. Which two sections are quadrilaterals? You need to know what a quadrilateral is. What is it? Um, it is a, um, square. it has four sides, oh, that's all. and it has right four square. angles. So, a quadrilateral. If you don't know what a quadrilateral is, then we're going to be lost on this problem. Quadrilaterals have, but equal four sides. sides. That's the big part that you need to know. So, you need to look up here. And it has four angles. Four angles, yes. And that's an anti four angles. So, which one of these, Natalie, could you already get rid of that you know is not a quadrilateral? What number? Some seven. Seven, so she got rid of seven. So seven should not be in your answer choice, so you should go get rid of that one. What's another one that you can get rid of? Um, one. One, okay. So. Because one and seven are the same thing, but backwards. So I'm going to tell you, triangles are not quadrilaterals. So you go get, cross out all the triangles that are left, and you'll have your answer. So like Jacob said, a square, a rectangle, uh, a, a rumbus. rumbus. Yes, a rumbus. Um, a trapezoid would be a quadrilateral. A parallelogram would be a quadrilateral. Okay, one.
basically you could cross out all of them except two. Yes. Yeah. You'd have your answer. And then you look inside your answer choice, and then you see. Can I show me my quiz? Are you done already? Yeah, I got my answer on this one. 21. But are you done? Can we go down to 22 or no? Yes. If you got 21, you can go on to 22. Okay. Which one do we stop at? I think it's 22. Right? I don't know. Let me try. Oh, no. 21. 21. We're stopping at 21. Okay. Our last one. So, can I go to my quiz now? Yes, while we're waiting. If you have Canvas and you want to go submit your answers, you're free to do that right in this moment. But if you're not, don't worry about it right now. We'll go back later on and do it again. I just did two assignments. What did you do? I did math. Couple more we're gonna go down to see. I think it's part three, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, you <laughs> Smiley faces. Here we go. Oh, I didn't answer this one. Sorry. So everybody got twenty one done? Thumbs up. Yeah, I have twenty one then. You ready to go? That's not maybe so. Remember what I said earlier. Your video should be on because I don't know what y'all are doing. I'm going to assume that some of y'all are not working if your video is off. Y'all are just sitting there. In class, we would have our videos on. Or, well, not our videos on. We would be sitting there. If for some reason, you have to turn it off. You need to let me know. Thank you, Zildjian and Michael, for turning it on. And Ray Ray. Okay. Put that back in your math binder. We're going to go into our math binder for a little bit. Again, place value, if we get to it. What else? Problem solving. What else did we go over yesterday? Basic facts. In our, oh, this Are we right. done with the math? We're going into our math binder. Oh, oh, oh. This one is... It looks like this. Remember we started it yesterday? And go at problem solving. So finally red, and we're gonna go into problem solving. Let's see if we can get one done. Red in your math binder. What are you going in, into canvas? It's not on canvas, it's in your books. So get your journal out. You're gonna be writing stuff down. I 
got one wrong. I got one wrong. Okay. Problem solving, Natalie, and whoever else just said I got one wrong. Make sure it's red, and we're going to 2A. And a map finder? Yes, map finder. Well, two A. Did we do the other ones yesterday? Yes. What's okay. That? Ready? Everybody has it? Yes. Yeah. So, 2A. It says, Nancy bought... Yeah, what happened? No! Come on. Turn my screen again. I don't know what happened. Come on up. There it is. Um, it says, Nancy bought three different color rolls of ribbon for a tablecloth. Each roll of ribbon contains 63 feet of, or 63 feet of ribbon. How many nine feet pieces can Nancy cut from one roll of ribbon? So this has those words each in it again. So how many nine foot pieces can Nancy cut from one roll of ribbon. What number can we get rid of here because it's not useful, I guess, to us. What are y'all all doing? Some of y'all are just there, like, I don't know, wandering around. So, number two, we're trying to answer it. Um, Nancy, we're trying to figure out how many nine-foot pieces can Nancy cut from one roll of ribbon? So you would use get again. Come on, we're working on this together. This isn't by yourself, this is together. So if you need to unmute yourself, go ahead. I think we should get rid of uh, how many nine foot pieces. Because, no, 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 no. Lily. And then, how many total feet of ribbon do you have? Um, she has 63. So we don't need three, do we? We don't need to know how many different colors. So we have 63. And then how many nine foot pieces can Nancy cut from um, each roll? So I guess this could be nine. So we'd have to divide, wouldn't we? I think it wants you. What do you have to solve for these actually? She was yesterday, we don't actually have to solve for these. We just want you to set it up. So 63 would be your total. And then how many, um, I guess, nine foot pieces, you have to divide this by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did 
this would be 900 foot tall. So if you were to divide 63 by 9, what would you get? Anybody know? Let me put my chart up. Go across 9 and find 63 and then go up. What do you get? How long would each one be? Seven. Seven, yeah. It'd be seven if we had an answer, but. Okay. Or you could have done repeat and subtraction, I guess. So in Miss Sterling's fourth grade class, six girls and boys were asked to count packages of construction paper. The packages of construction paper included seven assorted colors each. Each of the students counted, it, counted 18 packages of the construction paper. How many packages did the girls count? Ooh. That's a lot of pages. Let's see. So how many packages did the girls count? Um, so we only need the to girls counted. We only need to know about the girls, right? So, yeah, we can get rid of the number of boys. Do we need to know how many different colors there were? Is that important information? Probably not. Probably no. Not. Okay, so you want to set up like get? You can do that. So each student counted eighteen packages. Oh, y'all can't even see. And how many? Um, papers were inside those 18 packages. How many pages? What they're trying to get us to answer. So what part are we missing on here? Do we know how many? Um, we know how many. No, each is what? Oh, let me see the E. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay, um, let me get get real quick. D G E T A. Okay. okay. What? So for the T or the for the total or the get and it will help us tell us if we got to divide or we're going to multiply or what are we going to do let's see come on help me fill in okay good. so we have bye um we have six girls and so is that gonna be our group or our each or our total the girls are gonna be most likely our groups and then, what else? Um, and 18 is gonna be our total. Is it? Wait. Look right here. What's that keyword? Each, what? so that's gonna. Is that gonna be the E or is that gonna be the T? The E. 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 So we're going to have to multiply. We're going to be multiplying. 18 times 6. 18 times 6. What's 8 times 6? Somebody besides Natalie tell me what 8 times 6 is. Let's see. 
18 times 6? What's 8 times 6? 48. Try again. 48. I'm the answer. Oh, I'm the answer. 48. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you said somebody said 28. I thought it was 28. I said 48. I said 48. I heard 48, but I thought I heard 28, but it might have been 48. I don't know. So then we can do six times one. What is that? That's six times one. Six times one is. I think it's six. Mm -hmm. Six times one. And then plus four? Equals ten. Okay. Look at that. Eight. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that masterpiece. Ooh, we didn't do skills yesterday. No. Boom. Green part of your binder. Drink news explode. Boom. What we've been doing on our um, near pods. Yeah. Skills right here. The green part in your binder. Let's set up for after our break. Hey, yay, we're having break. Uh, 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 nope. Go to your skills. Boom. Adrian. I'm going to my skills. Green, and then we're going to do the first page, what we've been doing. On Nearpods. Yeah, on Nearpods, which is repeating again. We, we've got to catch up, so. Everybody. Which page is that? It's skills, and then it's the first page. It says skills one. Skills two. Just because I'm a mean teacher, we're going to do one together. Let's see. Y'all want to have a break? We're going to do one together. If you aren't paying attention, we're going to shorten our break. Bum, bum, bum. Right, everybody on skills page one. I need a nod. I'm on skills. One. I'm going to make you show me that you're doing it too. I see a few. I see Michael working. Let me see. Are you ready for A? Yes. Okay, it says A. It says halves. We have to cut this rectangle into halves. How many parts am I going to have on that rectangle? Two. 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 Right down the smack dab the middle. How many equal parts do I have? Two. It would be one half and one half. Mm. Mm. See some of y'all working. I don't know about the rest of y'all. Quick question before I send you off on the break. So I have a fraction. You don't have to write this, but somebody besides Natalie is going to have to answer. Otherwise, we'll be here for a very long time. What is this number up top called? A numerator or a denominator? Numerator. Somebody besides Adrian, what is the bottom number called? Natalie, you can't answer either. Uh, denominator. Denominator. Thank you. At. 9.45, you are to be back here. Just like we did yesterday, I'm going to end the meeting for all because it worked better that way. Okie dokie. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. Listen, listen. During your break, you need before you get back here, you need to be on Canvas so we can go back and put our answers into our, our test. Okay. Got it. Bye. Bye. I'm going to play a little bit. Uh, what time do we come game? back to? Right. 9.45. I'm ending the video. Okay, bye. Bye. 9.45. I'm going to play some Fortnite. I'm going to play some Fortnite. I'm going to play some Fortnite.